Hello Pisces and welcome to your September 2022 reading with me Jackie here on Romani Tarot. Yeah so let's get straight into the reading see what we have for you. Um, the first card I pulled for you Pisces is the this card here from the Black Moon Ast Astrology deck and it's the seventh house so this is about your partners we have a look at this card here. it's all about your significant other uh, your partnerships whether it's in business or relationship so um also fairness balance this is uh, to do with the, the law legal issues and also open enemies and uh yeah so i feel i've, I've getting two sort of uh two sort of stories or feelings about two sort of scenarios here uh, one could be that a relationship uh, is rather ending, dissolving, or some sort of, uh, for some of you, maybe this is a divorce. And for others of you, others of you it's about a commitment or, or sort of making a commitment in a relationship, an existing relationship. Okay, and for, as I say, others of you, this could be just a partnership in business, uh, in your work, you know, your work and business area of your life. Uh, yeah, because we do with that. Um, I pull this card, the justice card here with this card. And yeah, so this is all to do with balance, truth. And anything to do with um, anything legal, you know, any legal issues that you're going through. Um, I just want to say the first feeling I'm getting here is, uh, as I said, something about something uh maybe a de uh, decree absolute or something like to to that effect or maybe something this has happened in the past for you Pisces where you've been through some sort of separation divorce and uh something to do with the, the business or dividing assets in the, the uh, marriage or, or business okay so moving on we have we have this card here for you. So we've got the compass here for you, Pisces. It's all about direction, the compass, guidance. Um, maybe we need to make a plan about something, examine a route, uh, get your bearings about something, where you're going, and get back on track. So this is all about getting back on track. Um, also following uh, your true north. So if we have a look at this card, uh, we see that the needles here in the middle of this compass, one's pointing north and one's pointing south. Um, I'll just say generally, usually the north is, is more like the positive. The south is something that we've been through that's hard. And uh, it's sort of like the scrag ends of something that, that wasn't um, fulfilling or pleasing in some way because uh, with that card so if we're looking north we have if we're looking at the, the north point of the needle we also have here on top of this we have the uh, nine of pentacles which says rewards here in this lovely card um so i feel that something is something that you're heading towards feels very rewarding to you um something that you've worked on I think in the past, something that you've been going through in the past. Um, but before, I'm going to pull some tarot anyway on these cards. So before we go on, let's have a look what we have here. Because in your south, when I look at the needle sort of pointing south, we have the page of swords, which says uh, inspection on this card. So something that you're looking at, and it's looking at that... Um, partners in your seventh house there that card sort of looking up at that card so this is something to do with the relationship uh the present i say past present or you know going into the future but i feel this is more to do with the past or present that there is a relationship that you're looking at very um very closely or you're needing some sort of direction and guidance of where the, the, like your next move where you're going to be moving what you're going to be moving towards even you know what should you do there could be a slight i wouldn't say confusion but you sort of um 
you're looking at things maybe a bit regretful as well maybe you're regretting something maybe there's something here i wouldn't say maybe something you miss i'm getting that feeling here with this card um but it's something about letting go of a um sort of like putting closure or something or letting go of a past maybe a relationship or partnership in some way and remember Pisces uh, we know that relationships in our lives are not just about uh, someone that we were connected to intimately this could be as I say a business partnership it could be a friendship you know whatever that is for you Pisces uh, you take that you know wherever it fits um, as I always say, the reading's not going to be for everybody, so um, just take what's for you. Or maybe wait for your next reading, maybe that one will be more for you, uh, I feel, for you Pisces. Okay, so the next thing we have from my, um, as I say, my little one, May deck here, um, we have this number nine. Now this number nine is about forward thinking, visions, to visualise uh, something. And it also tells you to, um, I said a few of the signs, or a couple of the signs have got this card. This one there with the Saturn card or Neptune. So those those sort of three cards are coming out in these uh, this month's uh, September's readings. So it's about finishing what you start. So don't divert, you know, whatever you're focusing on, whether it's a relationship, a job, you know, whatever it is for you, a friendship, you know, don't sort of finish what you start and don't divert, you know, sort of a second guess yourself in some way. So that could be there. Uh, so that could be in any, could that, that, that could be there, that could be in any, you know, sort of area of your life. And we're moving on here. And we have this number nine here. This was at the bottom of the deck. I felt I had to pull it because it was also the number nine. And so we, that's, uh, we're looking at that Mars energy. So this is a bit more courageous. You know, you are whatever you're moving towards at this particular time or, you know, what you're thinking of moving towards. You're feeling a lot more, um, I'd say, uh, confident and sort of, uh, as I say, courageous because we've got here committed so you're ready for some sort of commitment now in your life. So this is about your fighting spirit, your determination and a strong will to win and succeed. So the other thing that I uh, mention in this card, so for some of you, some of you Pisceans, so we do have the number nine. So if you was born on the 9th of March or the 18th of March, maybe you was born on the 27th of February, then maybe this reading is going to, uh, most probably, you know, in some way might resonate with you just that little bit more, but it doesn't have to be. I just like to sort of throw that out there for you. Okay, Pisces. So that's really nice energy. Okay, so what else do we have? So what we're going to do now, I'm going to just pull some tarot and see what we have. And um I want to pull a couple of cards on this uh, seventh house. Now, this could possibly be, as I said, something that's happened in the past. Um, so someone maybe you've met, someone that you connect with for some of you. And with this, um, I'm just looking at this lovely nine of pentacles here. I feel this is somebody that's not your usual, I don't say your type, I won't say type, but somebody who's very uh, different to what you're used to, you know, it's, it's somebody who's very different to your usual person that you usually have been with, you know, in, in the past, you know, sort of like your taste or so, not taste, I don't want to put it like that, it's, it's nothing to do with that, it's just that something is, this person whoever you, you're with, is very different to what you've been used to, I think, in the past. Or it's somebody, if you, I mean, if you're not with anyone, you know, it could be somebody that you, you're going to be sort of coming into some sort of, uh, maybe someone you meet, and this could be a friend as well, but it's somebody who's very different in some way. Okay, so I'm going to pull some tarot now. I'm going to pull from the Universal and see what we have for you, Pisces. So what do we have for Pisces? Just want to see where this seventh house and partners are going with this uh, justice card. So we're just going to have a look at this. So as I said, this could be a dividing of um, assets and uh, 
things being sorted out, maybe as I say, like that final paper to say that uh, things are, you know, sort of sorted out or something's more, of, you know, more official here. For others of you, you might be just thinking of taking your relationship as well to the next level in some way. So maybe some of you might be thinking of getting engaged, even get, you know, engagement sometimes leads, of course, it doesn't always, though, lead to marriage. But something that's more committed, maybe you're thinking of moving in with somebody. Uh, something that feels um, more, because we do have commitment here on this card as well. So something here feels very, uh, something that's more, just feels more official in some way, Pisces, for you. Okay, so, you know, whoever it is, I mean, you might be moving in with a family member, you know, you might be, uh, somebody might be moving in with you, you know, wherever that is. So we need to keep an open mind, just keep an open mind and remember we've all got free will. And whatever we decide, it's our decision at the end of the day. So, you know, I'm just picking up on the uh, energies here that the cards that I've pulled and the cards I'm going to pull. So, um, yeah, nothing. As I say, nothing is uh, set in stone. So, you know, we're all free. We've all got free will to change our minds or do, you know, do what we want to do, really. Okay, so we. this is just fell out. This Nine of Pentacles again. So something about your independence as well with the Nine of Pentacles. This could be um, maybe finally, you know, maybe you value, we all value our independence. It doesn't mean, this means uh, also financial independence, but independence in a, in a way is, it doesn't matter if we're with somebody or not. I've said this many, I always say this in my readings as well. You know, when this card comes out, it doesn't matter you know, if you're with someone, it doesn't mean to say that you lose your independence and what you want to do, you know. It just means that um, maybe some of you are ready now to maybe give up some sort of independence in some way, you know, that you you actually want to be with someone. Sort of, so for some of you, sort of finally sort of be with someone and make it more, um, make it more lot much more long term here with that uh when i feel like i see that word commitment it keeps popping into my mind especially when i look at the justice card and this seventh house so it's about connecting okay um for some of you i feel it's been a, a slow some sort of slow process in some way from where you are now excuse me where you are now where you're going where you've come from you've been on a long journey some of you Piscean so I feel that you've been through this uh, journey and of course when we go on these journeys I don't mean you know sort of physically mentally as well you know a mental physical journey whatever it is for you but it's not easy and uh, you know things take time so it's about uh, you're at that point now remember it's a nine nines are all about near completions so we're nearing a completion in our lives so something's coming to an ending um whether it's positive or negative but it needs something is about to be finished here with the nine of pentacles and it has to do with material or or even you know things you can touch like as i say the tangible so you know intimacy uh, your money and all sorts of things relating to that this is really nice lovely energy so i like that the nine of pentacles for you pisces with that card so that tells me that something here is uh something is well worth um putting the something here is worth putting your energy into so let's have a look So let's put four cards for the compass and see what we have. Oh, these cards wanted to come over. Oh, this is nice. So we do have, so we have the uh, death card. So you've got two major arcanas. So this is, when I pull major, oh, generally major arcanas means something that means a, a lot more than a minor thing. So it's, a, it's something major to you personally. 
and it's to do as i say with this ending with the death card something here needs to be put to rest uh, whatever it is for you if it was something um toxic if it was something negative in your life maybe it was something positive something you lost so this is telling me that, that, you know, you're ready for some sort of closure and you're ready for a new cycle in your life. This has changed the Wheel of Fallen, uh, fallen? the Wheel of Fortune. So, um, yeah, it's about change. It's about your destiny. It's about things starting to sort of come around for you, starting to turn in your favour. And this is a very lucky, it's Jupiter here. So we have, um, so, and Jupiter, your ruler. Funny enough, Pisces, yeah. Okay, so co-ruler Neptune, but your ruler is Jupiter. So this is very positive, as I said a bit earlier. So I feel with that Mars energy, you're feeling a lot more, um, I would say, a lot more sure about where you're going in life at the moment. So you're feeling a lot more better than you have done maybe uh, in the, you know, where you was in the past to where you are now. But this is uh, putting some sort of uh, leaving something behind. Uh, it may, for some of you, it may feel, um, it may feel, I wouldn't say painful, but it, it's, it's like a, a melancholy sort of energy here where you, for some of you, might have had really good memories with someone or something that ended in a past relationship in some way or a past connection. You know, when I say relationship, as you know, it can be anyone, Pisces, a friend, family members, um, your significant partners. So this is a lovely energy. It tells me that you're ready to start um, a new uh, cycle. Things are starting to sort of work out for you, Pisces. Start Things are starting to move, starting to get moving. And um, yeah, luck is on your side. So, you know, it's a lucky break as well for some of you. Some of you are having a, a really good uh, lucky break here with this card which is really nice okay so i'm going to pull let's just pull one more so let's see what we're uh committed courageous and charismatic a fighter don't give up easy um yeah this is really nice. So you're attracting uh, people towards you as well, Pisces. You're sort of drawing um, attention towards you, not um, intentionally, but you're it's sort of like, it's it's like your energy. Uh, for some of you, very uplifting and very positive energy here. So that sort of energy attracts um, people to you. But as I say, always be careful who you let into your energy field, you know, into your circle. Rewards. Yeah, so even in even in the work aspect um, of your life, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're dealing with poverty, whether you're dealing, um, it doesn't matter, in a relationship, property, business, your work, anything here uh, it's going to bring some sort of reward rewards so that reward can come in any shape or form so this could be uh, maybe a rise in your uh, if you're working maybe a rise in your money your wage it can be um it could also with that wheel of fortune it could e even be a win here some sort of win um i don't want to build people's hopes up about wins and stuff like that but it's, it's, it's a little bit um Maybe we're taking a little gamble here in some way. But that's a really nice energy to have. Um, hold it. Yeah, reward, of course. Hard work. Reward for hard work. You know, if something's paying off. Something's starting to reap. The rewards of your hard labor you know i'm not saying you know to some of you not sort of like uh what they call it anyway i forgot the name <laughs> you'll get used to me i always but what i'm saying it's not a you know for some of you i'm not saying hard labor hard slog sort of thing but it is mentally whatever it is you've been doing you know, it, it hasn't, as I said, it hasn't been easy, Pisces. It's it's taken a lot of um, 
I'd say sort of like a lot of thought, a uh, maybe a lot of learning. So something that you've really sort of perfected for some of you in some way, you know, whatever you do here, it's really, you know, it's starting. I mean, or unless it's already started. So something is really sort of um, putting you in that place of, for some of you, financial independence, where you haven't got to sort of uh, rely on anybody no more or, you know, sort of borrow from Peter to pay Paul anything like that it's like you're in a lot better position now especially you know as i say if it's in your finances because you've got the nine of pentacles twice so yeah you're feeling a lot more um secure in your financial situation than you you have done maybe in the past or in the distant past Right, I'm just going to have a look. I'm going to pull another card before I end the reading for you, Pisces. So let's see what we have. Oh, yes. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles, a card of skill, a card of um, some sort of expertise. So this is all about, um, you know, some, being noticed. Remember I said earlier, sort of being noticed that, you know, people sort of drawn to you in some way they sort of admire what you do or they're wondering what you're doing and you know and how do you do it it's like how does Pisces do that you know um and and you know people can learn from you can you know learn as I say people you're a good example as well but something you're very very perfect it's a very very professional energy here and um it's your sort of uh attention to detail uh it's just a skill it's it's a really it's a natural skill here for you Pisces okay so that's coming on that partnership so this could be about business for some of you for others of you you you've been working on your uh social life your relationships in some way you know whatever, whatever shape or form that's in so you know it's like um I don't know, maybe people are sort of looking at you, you know, friends, family, you know, there's, there's people looking at you thinking, oh my gosh, you know, look at the change in Pisces sort of thing, you know, look at, look, at, you know, it's something, they seem a lot happier, they seem um, more content, um, you know, it, it's a relief, you know, for the people that care about you around you to see how well you're doing. You know, whether this is in your healing and your emotional state, whether it's in your work, your business, whether it's in your relationships, you know, it's like, wow, look what Pisces has got. And that's really a lovely message, Pisces. So, you know, although you still, you know, tend to sort of fall back into, um, I say, a little bit of melancholy sometimes where you're looking back at maybe a relationship that didn't work, um, some regrets you know why didn't it work what did i do wrong or maybe you're just looking back at somebody that's not in your life anymore somebody you really miss and as i say that could be anyone you know friend family member or a significant other a partner um an intimate partner so yeah so i just thought i'd say that as well so i like this for you guys is um it it's really lovely energy here um you know you're not looking back there's no looking back here i feel with this death card it's just like uh onwards and upwards and you know let's just move let's just go forward you're ready now to sort of move forward um in your life and yeah i won't waffle on too long it's just amazing anyway i really liked that reading for you pisces and i do hope it resonates with some of you um, I'll be back very soon with your October readings. I am actually going away. I'm going to Cyprus on the 28th of September. But I'm going to try and sort of uh, see what I can come up with. But I will be back for your October readings very soon. And um, take care of yourself. God bless and good luck. Whatever you're going, you know, whatever's happening for you at the moment. I really hope that things really are and they seem to be really working out for you. So uh, that's really nice, Pisces. Um and I'll see you very soon. I'll be back with a reading for you very soon for October. So take care, Pisces. Bye.